All right, next in the category of surfers, East Coast Surfing Hall of Fame is proud to induct North Carolina's Noah Snyder. <laughs> Noah is widely recognized as the first professional surfer from the Outer Banks of North Carolina. Snyder began surfing as a youngster and almost immediately surf industry sponsors picked him up. Billabong was his first main sponsor, but he remained loyal to his relationship with Bob Hurley. And by his 21st birthday, Snyder was competing professionally with Hurley as his primary sponsor. His record adds up to winning more pro events than anyone ever from the Outer Banks of North Carolina. As a journeyman pro on the QS circuit, Snyder traveled and surfed all over the world. He appeared in numerous surf magazines, surfing many of the world's most challenging waves. His amazing surfing prowess earned him appearances in numerous videos, including Straight from Mars, Walking on Water, The Outsiders, and the Surf Energy series. The highlight of his surfing career led to the story of his life being featured in one of the inspiring surf films of all time, Noah's Ark. 17 years working with Hurley, Snyder decided it was of time to focus his energy on his passion for being fit. Establishing Momentum Fitness as an elite personal training business in Nag Said, as a certified boot camp and group fitness instructor, Noah has hosted surf camps and boot camps for over 20 years. He is dedicated to sharing his stoke for surfing and fitness with every generation. Along Noah's life journey, he took up yet another of his passions by following in the footsteps of his father, iconic local artist Rob Snyder, whose sea life murals are infamous on the Outer Banks. Noah entered the art world as a third generation artist surrounded by sand and sea. His style and frame of reference are truly unique. His connection with the natural world via his international surfing experiences can be felt in each and every piece of his artwork. Noah's style and frame of reference are truly unique. The collision of fractal wood burning and acrylic paint mediums collide and communicate to communicate his raw, yet totally enchanting perspectives. Google him and go on his website and you will see some of the most awe-inspiring artwork out of a natural medium using wood and acrylic paint. Absolutely a phenomenal talent. Snyder was inducted into the North Carolina Surfing Hall of Fame in 2022. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my pleasure to bring up Noah Snyder. Thank you guys, um, wow, it's an honor, and this moment is priceless. Um, Ricky, two words uh, that have been said a lot to me lately is uh, legends, and the other one, which is a hard one for me to accept, is old. <laughs> so I just turned 50, so even my kids are like, Dad, you're old. Like, even surfers are coming up to me going, oh, you're old. But um, this is for the old crew. So, um, I got to thank my dad, uh, just for getting me into the sport. Um, super quick story. He tried to get me in the water at age nine and literally I cried my way back to the beach. And it wasn't until age 12 where the stars aligned and I saw that same surfboard sitting in the sand that I had shed tears on and I grabbed it paddled it out, stars line, caught, my, caught this wave, and still remember it to this day. Mm. It changed my life forever. And um, to be able to do this uh, for a career uh, and just for fun and watching other people stoke and hearing you guys' stories, it's just, it, what an amazing ride. Um, so thank you, Pops, for um, just introducing me to something that would radically changed my life forever. Um, 
Barry Price, I gotta thank him. He's an Outer Banks legend. Um, he scooped me up at a young age, put me on wave riding vehicle surf team, and I didn't know all that was gonna come with that because the ESA district, uh, and also there was an incredible rivalry between Wellbone Surf Shop and WRV, and it was intense. It was when the competitive era was getting pretty crazy, and I was probably the result of a lot of wedgies, pink bellies, and just you name it. Like, it was intense on the beach with, with the, this group and these two different surf shops that just battled so hard. And um, But what came out of that um, was just incredible and uh, got some incredible surfboards. Lynn Shell's here tonight. Thank you. Uh, Jesse Fernandez, once again, he can't be here. Uh, but these guys just created incredible crafts that we got to ride and um, surf these waves on. So thank you guys. I have to thank the whole crew at WRV. Um, they gave me a ton of surfboards through my career. So thank you to Tommy Moore, Yinger, Bill Frierson, who um, my heart, my prayers go out for you tonight. And he's battling some health stuff. So what an incredible human. Thank you so much. Uh, the entire Shaw family, thank you guys. Outer Banks photographers, I miss this guy, Mickey McCarthy. Um, without photographers, a lot of this stuff would never happen. So these guys just were the people behind the lenses that made it all happen. And it was so special. Um, also got to thank Daniel Pullen, DJ Strunz, Matt Lusk. Uh, there's just so many other photographers, uh, but there's two here in Florida that I got to thank, and that's Mez and Dugan. Uh, thankful for Eastern Surf Mag and all that they did. Um, and the only time I ever gave Kelly Slater a run for his money was I had five covers. He had five cover shots. And then what did Kelly do? He got the sixth one. So, um, but so thankful because that really helped just propel me and propel my career. So thank you, Mez. Thank you, Dugan. And just the entire crew, Matt Pruitt, Matt Walker, just an incredible um, collection of guys there. Just so, so, th so thankful. And then also, Florida became like a second home to me. Um, Spear stayed at his house for like over a month. Rhino, like the entire Sebastian Lane crew. It's not every day that an outer tower gets to go to first peak and catch waves. Thank you guys. A um, couple of things. The big accomplishment, like Hunter said, was Noah's art. Um, I have to thank Nick McLean, who put his heart and soul into that. Um, if you haven't seen it, it's on YouTube. It's just an incredible look into my life and the life of so many people um, and there was an incredible impact that happened so thank you to Nick for just um, bringing that to life and Jesse Hines, Brand Doyle, Jamie Smith you guys know what happened on that day it was an awesome day um, my wife thank you for all your support um, I would miss dinners, come home, dripping wet, late, she was upset, or surf comes up, gotta go, drop everything, so she's just been my rock, and she's just been my better half, so thank you, babe. She's here tonight, too, Chris Snyder. And last on the list, I gotta thank God, Jesus Christ, for his creation. He created the waves that we get to ride, and it's an incredible gift, and he gifted me with years of surfing, so thank you, God. God bless. Thank you, guys. Thank everybody here. Thank you, Hunter.